Hello everyone, I'm Eric from Midas and thanks for joining me here at Music Group Studios. Today I have a quick tip video on the scribble strips for the M32 console, so let me go ahead and show you. So the scribble strip is going to take the place of your traditional board tape and permanent marker. So let me go ahead and show you how it works. First, let's go ahead and locate the channel that I want to name. In this example, I'm going to use channel 16 so I don't have to reach over the board here. So I'm going to select the channel, hold it down, and come over here to the utility button right next to the screen. I'm going to push that, and that brings you into your scribble strip uh, menu here. Now this is going to give you the ability to change the color of the channel. Say you're grouping channels together by color, let's say all your drums are going to be red and all your vocals are going to be yellow. This is where you would do it here. And uh, you also have the ability to add an icon on the scribble strip window as well. So I can do that right here. I'm going to make this a vocal and it's going to be a female vocal. So we have a little female vocal icon in there. And I can name the channel here, female vocal, or I can put something specific in with this encoder here. So now you can see channel 16 now is uh, labeled with an icon and it's telling you what it is. It's a female vocal. But the scribble strip also tells you a little bit more information. For example, if I was to be bringing tracks in from another source, let's say a digital snake or maybe tracks from my computer, it'll show you in the screen. So let me go ahead and set that up right now. So I'm gonna go to the home tab here and select the different source just to give you an example. So uh, channel 16 here, let's say I want it to be sourced from a different channel. I'm gonna choose channel one. Now here in the scribble strip window, you'll see it says in zero one. So you know that this channel is now being sourced from the input one. All right, so now that I've named a channel, let me just show you that you can do it with a mix bus as well. So let me go down to my masters here and I'm gonna select mix bus one and come over here to my utility menu again. Now in the window, I can also decide to uh, use a different icon just like I did a channel. So I'm gonna go ahead and just make this the mix bus icon, which is this one right here. I'm gonna call it a mix bus. Now I've named my channel and I wanna make it red. So there you have it, it's just that easy to use the scribble strip on the M32. It's just a way to eliminate the need for your board tape and permanent marker. I'm Eric with Midas, thanks for joining me here for the quick tip video on the scribble strips. For more information, be sure to visit MidasConsoles.com. I'll see you next time.